Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've been blessed with another beautiful day here in eastern Kentucky. We've had several days of rain, so it's a little too wet to work out in the garden itself, but that don't mean the work stops. I'm gonna be putting some tomato plants out, and I know a lot of people say, well, I can't grow nothing, I don't have no land. Well, I'm gonna put some in buckets today, and I'm gonna show you how I do that, and it works really well. I'll throw a picture in here of some I growed in buckets last year. And stick around and I'll show you how I do this. There's several things that you're gonna to need to be able to put tomato plants in buckets or any plant as far as that is. And of course you're gonna need some five gallon buckets with holes drilled in them for drainage. And I'll throw some pictures in here along as I talk about these things. I use a wheelbarrow to mix the soil up in. I use a mixture of miracle Grow garden soil, compost and manure, along with some fertilizer, and of course you need your plants. So let's get this thing started. Okay, these are the buckets that I used last year. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna dump the soil that's in them, dump it out. If you can see that, I've got holes drilled all in the bottom for drainage. And what I do is I break this soil back up, get any roots that's in it out. Then we'll mix in a bag of the compost and manure. And then I'm gonna start filling my buckets back up. And the thing you gotta remember, one reason I add that compost and manure back in here and then I'll be adding fertilizer as we fill these buckets up, I'll show you that. But they was plants growing in this soil last year. So a lot of the minerals and nutrients is out of it because it was used up by the plants that was in it last year. So we need to put those back in that soil before we put plants back in. So I fill the buckets about a third of the way full. Then I add some of this organic tomato and vegetable fertilizer. I put a couple of good handfuls in there. It's organic stuff, so it's not gonna burn your plants up. And then I mix that in. And then what I have here is kind of a homemade mixture of uh, some organic fertilizer, Epsom salt, and ground up Tums, the cheap generic versions. And I sprinkle some of that in there and mix that in. And I know some people might be watching this now and say, well, this man's lost his mind. He's given his tomato plants Tums. Well, I seen that on a video a couple years ago, maybe. But I was having issues sometimes with blossom end rot. And checking into that, doing some research, they say it's a mineral deficiency that causes that. Mainly calcium and magnesium. So, that is what is in Tums and Epsom salt. So now I'm gonna add more soil back to the buckets and I'll fill them up almost to the top this time. At least two thirds of the way full now. And we'll get you turned around here and show you what to do next. All right guys, these is actually more than two thirds full. They're about three inches from the top now. I'm gonna put some more of the organic fertilizer. And mix that in, that top layer. Now the thing you don't wanna do 
you don't want to compress and pack this soil into these buckets because you're going to be putting young plants in there and they need some good soft soil to get their roots started good. And I'll put a little, another good sprinkle of that Epsom salt and Tom's mixture. Mix that in. All right, now that we've got that done, I just take my hand and kind of make me a hole right in the center for where I'm going to set my plants. These is the uh, heirloom beefsteak tomatoes that I started from seeds. And they're getting pretty big and they're going to start getting root bound if we don't get them planted. So I take right down here at the bottom and I pinch those bottom branches off. And then I'm gonna bury that plant all the way up to there in this loose soil. Now, once I get it in there, I do press it down around it some to make sure it's firmed up good. Again, take those bottom branches off. Whether it'll show up on this camera or not, I don't know. But these plants have got like little hairs all the way down them. All of that will turn into roots in that soil. And it's just that simple to plant tomato plants in buckets. And I've got a, several more here I'm going to do. I'll bring you back and show you the finished shots when I get them set over here next to the fence where I place them and how I put the cages in. All right, everybody, that's the finished product right there. Got the tomatoes in the buckets with the cages. Got them watered in. And right there's strawberry plants and pots. I really appreciate everybody watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and share it with people that might need to see how this is done. And remember, prepare today for what may happen tomorrow. And I'll see you on the next video.